Yep. Okay, I'm ha I'm I'm happy. I have control. They can um, let go. Control is ready for release. Pre release. Work is released. Control copies. Page copies. Come on, it's getting there. Okay, that's her clear to transfer. Control copies. Yeah, bridge copies. Where is that top? Uh, oh, there it is, never mind. We're good. Can you turn off the side lights? Do you mind? It's just easy for me to, easier for me to tell which way the vehicle's pointed. Yeah. They don't wait, do they? Hey, they don't wait, right? And we're going. Okay, Atlantis clear to vessel. Okay, Control copies. One nine nine six. Time is one zero one four. Sorry, hold on. We gotta get our power sorted first. Sorry. Oh. oh.
Hello, everyone that's listening. We just launched Hercules in Atalanta. And today we are going to be diving on an isolated geot near the northwestern region of the e exclusive economic zone surrounding Johnston Atoll. Our estimated max depth is 2,706 meters. And my name is Ashley Glickley, and I'm the science communication fellow on the 12 to 4 watch. And we are going to begin with our introductions. To my right, Hello everyone, uh, here's Haisa Hogan, I am oceanographer, I am part of the science team and um, I am here through the taxonomist network of ocean sensors. Hello, my name is Leela, I'm sitting in the watch leader seat. Uh, split watch leading on this watch with Dwight, the expedition leader, and I am the science manager on this expedition. And I guess that leaves me in the back row. My name is Jane Carrick. I'm a PhD student at the University of Rhode Island, and I will be data logging for the uh, 12 to 4 watch, taking note of all of our samples and uh, interesting features along the way. And front row, anybody who's ready can take it away. Hi, my name is Panos. I'm the video engineer for the 12 to 4 watch. You're seeing blue water now. A good evening, blue good afternoon, watch. and good morning. My name is Michael Valle. I am a <laughs> physics PhD at a UCLA. I am going to be your Atalanta pilot <laughs> during this descent. <laughs> descent and two hours of on bottom. In the ascent later on when we recover. Yeah. I I now hand over to the main pilot of Herc to, and remind him to go back on SPL <laughs> and introduce himself. Good reminder, because I would have just been talking away. <laughs> There's some cool stuff here. I don't. Anyway, um, hi everybody. Uh, my name is James Barnett. I'm the Herc pilot. I'm today's watch. Sorry, no flashy introduction like Mike over here. <laughs> it's okay, Everybody. your accent makes up for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't aware I had an accent. <laughs> this is a revelation for me. Well, technically, we're all the ones with the yeah, accents. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, you want me to slow down? Yes, please. Hey, everybody. Ooh. I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator on this watch. Oh, oh this is a big uh, siphonophore. Wow, that's cool. That's a or good a salp. One. Hold yeah, on. it might be zoom. a salp chain. It might be a salp, well. actually. Zoom. Oh, can we zoom on that? Zoom, yeah, zoom, zoom. That's zoom. beautiful. This is the first really is interesting thing we've seen on. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no it's it stuck around out. for so long. Or did we stop? We just zoomed out. Ooh. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah. I moved the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> oh, it's, it does have a body-like oh, it structure. It's a Wait, oh, my gosh. It's a siphonophore. You can see the front. That's awesome. Uh, come back. Come on. He's can you pay out, please? At least I think I saw the nectophores in the front. It did look like a different body structure leading the way, as yep. it were. Yep, as it were. I'm oh, underneath yeah. you, so I need we to We actually saw down. it for long enough to... I got a nice photo, I think. Oh, you did. It looks great. I'm going awesome. to come all stop until you catch up. Oh, all right. That's why I can't I get it. that's a good it. omen. Yeah. Because I'm pulling it down. <laughs> you're, pulling, you're pulling me down. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's too speaking bad. of nice photos... We're going a descent, not ascent. Front. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, I read this incorrectly. <laughs> yeah. Um, please don't, uh, yeah, please stay there. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for you to catch yeah, up. I'm trying to get back out towards the boat, too. Is, uh, yeah, I don't have my thrusters enabled, so uh, I'm okay. not fighting anything. Good, thank you. As far as rotational goes. There's been a lot of stuff here. In Is the, the Ethernet bottle on? Uh, no. Is it that is, a, is that is a thing that's en enabled at all this uh, dive? I heard there was some repairs. Um, I 
I'm assuming we put everything back on except the mini one, but it doesn't matter, right? So, science. There's the Ethernet bottle. I'd love both cameras on, if possible, at least for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. I do what I can. <laughs> Actually, Ashley, I think you caught that that photo. I was oh, all nice. chuffed to go. take credit for it, but oh. then I saw it was from the SCF. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed that. Re-engaging auto descent. Teamwork. Um. Yeah, just go slow, please. Because I'm still not going straight down. I'm trying to come swing around. Or do we both have control? You have it. Okay. I'm just curious if it's working and stuff. Yeah, but one is like that, that don't focus. Yeah, and I think when it can't focus, it gets upset. Ooh, but it has the red dots, which I think is a Tim, a Tim thing, maybe. And a message him. Just a reminder to everyone who's joining us, the chat is open, so if you'd like to submit any questions for the team, it's a good time. Hi, Tim. Did you hear me talking about you? Only nice things. I literally have you open. I'm texting <laughs> you right now. Zoom in just a little bit, just to get the, the bubble out of view. That's good, thank you. Yeah, sorry, I was doing my checklist here, <laughs> sorry. You're engaged in auto? I just wanted to take a sip. Uh, no, that's fine. You can keep it there. I am uh, going a little faster than you. That's fine. I'm catching up. If I need you to slow down, I'll ask. I want to stay ahead of you in case we see something cool again, then I have time to stop. We can stop whenever. Ooh. What? Depends on what your definition of cool is. <laughs> well, like what we saw, like, okay. I, wasn't able, I wasn't able to, what'd you call that? A, um, si siphonophore. Siphonophore. I wasn't able to follow because we weren't in the right orientation. Yeah. I just kind of got pulled away from it. Uh, cause I wasn't ready. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, None of us were ready. Yeah, it kind of caught, caught me off guard. Um, yeah, I'm going to need you to slow down just a bit. Do you want me to slow down? Yeah, like yep. instead of third, maybe hold at like 30. If you can. Uh, but bring it down to like 27. And then uh, enough for me to catch up. We are moving right along. Does anyone have any jokes? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh not no. you. You're not funny. Oh. Just kidding. That's fine. <laughs> I get it. It's fine. Just kidding, Michael. Go ahead with your joke. I didn't have one. Oh. 
You were going to make it up on the spot, though, that was, <laughs> No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was just going to say, I don't have one. That's the joke. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> waka waka. All right, you can go. You can go full steam. Ooh, trying to tell me my breath smells bad. Full steam. <laughs> We've got another Far comment down. in the chat. Um, really like watching. Keep up the amazing work for all you do. And this is from New Zealand. Aww. Thank you, New Zealand. If you have a funny joke, please send it our way. We would love to see your joke. The other one was, what was the creature we just saw? And I think that was referring back to the Siphonophore. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was just a comment, not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool siphonophore because yeah. you could see all the um the 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 parts of of the colonial organism related to feeding hanging down take that hint thank you so are each of the different <laughs> uh -huh. um parts of the siphonophore separate animals i guess i should say um, yeah, yeah, they all make up one colonial organism. They're not independently, like, they're not self-sufficient on their own. So it's kind of hard to wrap your head around sometimes. But uh, they are sort of individual zoids, you would call them, or sub-animals that make up a whole animal, work together. Much like a coral. Yeah. Yes, exactly, a coral. Kind of like the polyps, right? Same deal. I want to see that uh, be patient student driver sign on a. On a <laughs> I was wondering the other day. On a plane or something. <laughs> oh, jeez, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that is not where you want to <laughs> see that sign. <laughs> um. It says be patient. You just have to, like, you know, it might take a little longer. It's not saying be adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student driver. <laughs> this flight will now take seven hours. All right, so we have another question in the chat. What is the focus today, and what depth will the RV dive to? So our our expected max depth is 2,706 meters. Mm -hmm. And would it be possible to hear the sounds of the ocean and the waves crashing against the ship while we're launching Hercules? I could make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just need someone really good at imitating those noises. Probably only if Michael's making the noise. You oh, know, that's interesting. What is that? A little jelly, perhaps, mm. or mucus blob. Mucus blob, yeah, the um, like a larvation type mucusy thing. Um, you know, we on the ship, I don't actually notice the sound of the waves so much as I'm launching because the sound of the boat is so much louder. Yeah. <laughs> sound of the AC. Yeah, the AC in here. There's no. Uh, I can hear the the, the waves some uh, if the swells are yeah. big enough. Yeah. If you're in aft science, if you sleep way down below, then it's you, you can hear the waves on your porthole sometimes, which is nice, I guess. Or it wakes you up. Oh yeah. Or it wakes I, you up. The room that uh, I'm in, it's pretty close to sea level. It's yep. up forward, so you yeah, the bow is like mm. right there. So it's just like constantly just splashing. I when we were in port, I was trying to open the door. Open the window, but it's like mm. painted closed. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the bow thruster really loud in your room? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another. These are things that when you romanticize living on a ship, you forget about. <laughs> I was talking to a DJ about it. I was like, oh, man, the ship makes so much noise just to stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another jelly. You can, though, tell, like, are we in DP and diving or, uh, or are we still steaming? You wake up, you listen to the ship noises, you're like, did we actually dive? <laughs> There's quite a bit of stuff in the water column. There is. We've been getting a lot of... Yeah, we're seeing a lot um, of animals. We don't usually see Deeper than I thought. Them. I think we're... Yeah. Well, we're almost coming along the minimum. minimum zone no, not yet. Right, wasn't we're uh, approaching it still. Seems like... Seems yeah, to be leveling out maybe a little bit. Too much stuff. I like that. Um, it's what is that diction? Uh, 
I think it is diction, actually. Mm -hmm. The choice of words. I like when people is like, something, Semantics. something, still. Semantics. Semantics, Semantics. thank you. Semantics. <laughs> diction is your everyday per to a person. Got it. Semantically, it it's appropriate. It's fine. Yes. Wait, diction. Is that not how you pronounce things? What? Diction? I think that's like your accent and word choice. Okay. Your, di no, yeah, di your diction is, is like how you speak. Mm. Right, semantics uh, is word choice. It's semantics is word okay. choice. It's all semantics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this that is going so back meta, to you guys. <laughs> a pre-race pre conversation where Michael told us he would teach a literature class, so. Yes. I would take that class. Yeah. I used to like. Um, I, I could fail that class. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use uh, diagramming. I think it's diagramming, where uh, sentences and stuff like that. Where you oh, break yeah. every, when you break everything down, you put like the slashes through, verb. and then mm. like that, and you, and like I like I I I use commas, all the time. <laughs> commas then, like, are great. You can have a like, really long grammatically commas. correct sentence with. This is too long. Commas. This is too long. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's it. Golden rule, if it has commas, and you can take fish. it out. Is that a golden rule? <laughs> golden rule, <laughs> but my golden commas. rule for commas is like, if whatever phrase you have between the commas, if you could take it out, and the sentence is still fine, then you're using commas correctly. <laughs> well, what's this Ooh. little object between our so lasers? For, it seems to be, are we, zoom in there? is that a jelly? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. oh my it's goodness. cool. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. It's, it's a Hydra Medusa. Hurt sure. just went 3D. Oh, oh, beautiful. If I'm not totally wrong, to and it's a Hydra Medusa, this is a Hydroid jelly. So in, like. Hydroids are um, the class of, of Cnidarians. Same group as the jellyfish, uh, the Cnidarians. I'm going to slow down a bit. But they're yes. a slightly different group, and they can have both polyps stages in their life cycle and medusa stages in their life cycle where they look like jellyfish like this okay it's hard to focus in midwater column huh yeah hold on it's gone well, he might have moved bye friend oh there oh, was maybe. there oh, was yeah. a thing looked very similar did i pass him yeah it was lower really? Yeah, it's gone. Wait, oh, there, there, there it is. Look. I did pass him. Oh. Ooh. It got caught, caught in the wash or something. It's really hanging in there. Come towards the light. Beautiful. <laughs> Come towards the light. Ready to resume. Where'd you go? Yeah. There he is. Wow. Can zoom in a little bit more. We're getting yeah. so much midwater appreciation. Really beautiful. Yeah. Is it glowing or is it just it got a blue like color? It just got it's a like. Reflective. A I, I say that because uh, as soon as it goes out of the light, yep. you yeah. can't see it at all. Hmm. Somehow iridescent. Oh. All right. Sorry. A little just. No worries. I think we. Ovulated. We gotta yeah. get something. Okay. No, I took a lot. I took a lot of pics, so uh, we gotta one, get something one of them will be blue water. Reasonable. Yeah, no, we're gonna have more picks at blue water than we have on the on our dive. Ooh, up, boo, up, boo, up, up. Uh, that was not helping. Next time will be easier. I'll remember to take it out of auto heading. <laughs> Fight that <laughs> the whole time. It was an auto heading. Yeah, it's okay. I'm new here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a recommendation to put a microphone on Hercules to hear the waves crashing. So we can, we well, can explore put, that. Uh, we can well, if we were to put a microwave on Hercules, you'd, you'd hear, hear just like da -da 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 <laughs> very loud. <laughs> the whole time. Uh -huh. Another one in the uh, Argus cam, uh, Atalanta cam, just was a second ago. Or maybe the same one. No, it's definitely not. No, I there moved quite a bit. Oh, that was something cool. I missed it. Would oh. it be correct to call those jellies as well, or are they different? Um, like a Hydra Medusa jelly? Yeah. Yeah, you can call it a jelly. It's it's, it's all semantics. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did I'm there. just trying to learn the word, you know, like using it in a sentence three times today. Yeah. <laughs> got, got to get one more in. Yeah. So the oxygen minimum zone, we still have not reached it. We're after oh, yeah. over 500 meters now. That's a deeper-ish than usual. Ooh, it's a Cleona! 
Oh, I like that name. Ba -ba 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 Crayona. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are pteropods. If we can find I don't it. know if we're going to be able to see it more closely. But a sea, uh, I always forget if it's sea angel or sea butterfly. You might get more of a view if um, sea angel. you rack in, you get a bigger field of view, and then you can zoom in on certain things. Is that, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Oh, he's really close. Ooh. Dangerously close. Well, he's just inside the... And know, that one's actually in. quite large, and they can get pretty big. They can be teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, but they can be, you know, as big as your four, your forefinger, pointer finger. Um, you start zooming in. And they're mollusks. There you go. He's coming back. Here we without, go. Without shells that you can see. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's so good. There we oh, go. Oh, wait. No, that's a squid. That looks yeah, that's like a little squid. squid or something. I'm totally running in the wrong direction. Uh, swimming in the wrong direction. That really direction. looks like a Cleona. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Even though that's not the way the thing goes, but that's oh what it's Oh my gosh, what like. a cutie. Oh. Oh, you got that uh, bouquet shot. That's pretty good. Yeah, all good. <laughs> Focus is a little hard, but... Yeah, it's, I mean... Yeah, focus yeah no worries. Moving. It's <laughs> hard, the vehicle's moving. That's all good. Yeah, but you guys let me know when you guys have had enough and we'll continue on. We do have to get to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think like a short zoom is more than enough. We yeah, don't I have think, to. I you know, I, I think it's justified if uh, if we have to turn over and they still have to descend. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's what we I spent thought. four hours just getting carried away in the midwater. We're just there's, having like the ship a, move, but I we're just hanging in the water column. There's you quite know, a bit of stuff. We will reel it out. Guys, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but the next three shifts we're on, including this one, may have blue water. Us. Well, good thing hey, well, that we're we all such good company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we have to pour, pull out our coral. Oh, here's nothing. What is, oh, is that a fish? That's a fish. We don't like fish. <laughs> Ooh, Actually, that's, that's pretty cool. What is one. that? Okay, we gotta Another go. We, we do have to get it. <laughs> we have to go. No, no, no. We gotta go. <laughs> Are we not going right now? No. We gotta go. You're like the dad on the road trip that wants to stop by at every little thing. He's like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. world's largest butterball. In the back row is like, so yeah. are we there yet? Yeah. Did you just say world's largest butterball? <laughs> largest yeah. butterball. <laughs> actually, it's actually a statue of a cow, but like, <laughs> uh -oh, um, no, I'm not, no. they have that. They have like a, a someone did a whole sculpture of a, out of butter What's of a cow. What's that in Atlanta? Oh. It's always going to be a jelly. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there's What's another that? Hydromedusa. We're not going to stop. <laughs> we'll just kind of run it over the wow, camera. Don't good. stop. Yeah. We can. Cool. That's great. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an interesting one. Wow. You know, we are the We're gelatinous not. zooplankton watch right now. That is awesome. Oh, wow. What a picture. Really neat. That's amazing. <laughs> and oh, this yeah. guy's say he's sticking around. The other guy was smart. He was running away. Do you see something All right, off in the distance? Too? Yes, there's a there's stuff everywhere. It's okay, actually kind of right. cool. Wow, why is this? Oh man, if we get so like a shark awesome. and a whale, we have and done a lot of things. <laughs> to note that how much. And then a rando okay. scuba diver. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm putting in. And like all this little stuff floating around is, like I don't think it's marine snow. Do you think it's like? Um, there are a lot of little fish. I see like a lot yeah, of iridescent like, flashes all the time. Yeah, like zoom in. What's oh my that? gosh. Well, the, um, the and every single one like is it's different. Like there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. Well, uh, could that be like there's zoom like? In. <laughs> could it what be because that? like the like the the storms that were out here obviously coming causing a lot of turbulence, Turning and then up. now like it's kind of like moving things around. I think this is we're seeing part of this like noon to midnight migration, and we're going yeah, through it. Yeah, I don't know. And there are also some gelatinous well, zooplankton that like to be, that are okay with lower oxygen. We're yeah. in a really but low we, oxygen we, area. We've done this blue water before and we yeah. haven't seen this much. No. That's I, true. I don't feel like we just weren't looking. Oh, it's been, just been boring usually. Hey. Not, like not there's you. Another, wow. There's yeah, there's wow. Are we boring. still not at the oxygen minimum no, zone No, we're still it's declining. It's kind of, yeah, still <laughs> I thought slowly you were going to say, are we still not at the huh. bottom? We still not at the bottom. Is that I a shrimp? Why. We got a shrimp. One. Oh yes, we got to start our count. I actually just put in 
What I a lie. I guess the first one, to be honest with you. I'm sorry. I have to You're say, fine. I'm getting a little fatigued with the shrimp, shrimp count totally on the night, night times. Maybe we'll start when we get to the bottom. I love that it says shrimp count a lot. <laughs> There's also people keep adding. <laughs> Look, someone added Brisbane today. I was trying to think of how we could make that one better, like a, you know, because I was trying to come up with rhymes for all of them or something. Um, sea pen keepin'? <laughs> yeah, we've got squat spot, dumbo jumbo, whale watch, and sea pen keepin'. Oh, like jumbo tron? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, but brazinjid. Did. Brazinjid digit? Mm. No, that, that one's, one's hard to rhyme with. Yeah. Brazinjid vision? Sort ah, of? that's good. That's good. Yeah, it doesn't really. Brazinjid really. vision. You just gotta slur it a little bit, yeah. you know? Brazinjid well, uh, vision! That's who who wasn't that right? <laughs> 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 what do you think would sound great like that? <laughs> that's, what, that's how which, you have to uh, do it. Which rapper rhymed Wisconsin, Wisconsin with mansion? <laughs> with kids. I can't mansion. remember. That's really good. <laughs> Wisconsin. The chat saying we appreciate the blue water zooms. There's some cool stuff out there. Yeah, there is. And, you know, there are people who specialize in that, too. Yeah. <laughs> and there are whole... Uh, they're, all, they're called grad students. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a whole deep sea tools being developed to better study the midwater, yeah. actually. Like Nizabot, which would um, have the ability, has the ability to pump large quantities, pretty large quantities of sea uh, water yeah. uh, through it and then preserve the DNA of the various things that it encounters. You want to know why? Watch this. Oh, your pressure went down? We have a question in the chat about some invasive seaweed in New Zealand. Does anybody here know anything mm. about that? Hmm. I don't know anything about a, a, an invasive seaweed in New Zealand. What's the question? Um, it's specifically hey, saying look. that there's a, spe a type of invasive species um, coming to New Zealand. Just asking mm. if we if we know about it. I'm struggling no. to keep up with you. I wonder if it's... Well, that's not good. Big, small... And you're not going fast. Calerpa, no. I think, is the name of it. Calerpa? Mm -hmm. So that's a macroalgae that they find in the Atlantic. I know that much. Hmm. Um, oh, that was cool. Yeah, that too fast. One. Maybe, uh... Maybe you could come back a bit. What do you mean? Cause maybe, uh, maybe you're fighting? Because you're also going out, aren't you? Not anymore. Yeah. So maybe maybe it's because you were fighting, you're overexerting, maybe. I still shouldn't do that. Not with. Um, um, we have a question. How long till we get to the bottom? Do we have an estimate? Seventy-four ish minutes, give or take. Ten, fifteen, twenty, depending on how many. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I took my meds this morning. Uh, very. Are you also drinking uh, coffee up there? Yeah. And tea. I have tea actually. I didn't oh, take nice. coffee. The 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 ten o'clock wake up was enough. Oh yeah, that was nice. That was lovely. Like we all could just come together, you know. <laughs> we should have held hands and sang a song. Yeah, it's like Thanksgiving kind of. <laughs> like the Who's at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I'm glad you're awake. <laughs> it was just us. That's a oh, no, you went down fast. Yeah, hold on, hold on. No, it's fine. That's this right. is for our pilots, I was shocked you were doing zooms on descent. Love the midwater. Mahalo. Mahalo. Yeah, I love that this There's is There's lots of cool stuff, actually. Excitement. I've been flying by some things Are that we? I w would like to zoom on. Like yeah. that, what's that? Oh, man. I said Mahalo. Now it's I want Leonard's. Uh, maybe it's nothing. No, so it's, it's a quite something. narrow I field, of, field of view. Uh, huh. I think we saw... That's what I was looking for. Oh, what you like are another siphonophore, maybe. Oh. They're all so. Oh yeah, it's got the little chain. It kind of looks I like it's in a web. It might not it be. It does. Oh, you're. That's why. Can you come wide, please.
be cool if we could stay zoomed ish, but I don't know that. Then you don't then see, see enough. Everything, yeah. uh, you gotta kind of pick your spots and then. What if we zoom in on this camera? And it looks like we up. have finally potentially reached our oxygen minimum zone. Okay, what are we at? And it was at s around 650 meters. Wow. Um, and what was it? You uh, might need to pull me a little minutes. bit. We got down to 38, which is actually not okay. that low. Not low compared to some of the other ones. Yeah. I think the other like lowest 15, was like 20 or something. 20. Yeah, yeah. maybe even 13. Okay, I'm trying to. I have it. the Tricops camera zoomed in. Right. And I wonder and if I this wonder. will show us anything. Right there. Uh, we go past so much. Now that I'm looking, I mean, oh, so, right? so much. Yeah. Honestly, the whatever I call the oxygen minimum zone, it seems more of a like a plateau. It's not yeah. very. <laughs> It'll come it's back quite up. Broad. Well, I'll play with the lights. Sure. No. Ooh, maybe we'll see. Yeah. I mean, good if you want. Because I think yeah, that turn them the on and then turn them off. Ooh, was I probably bioluminescing. Yeah. Oh, there's still, still stuff floating around. It's an interesting hypothesis about the storms. We just had a tropical I storm pass by. I was literally yep. just thinking that. Maybe it's lowered because of the storms that went through. Oh, is it Greg? Definitely, definitely, that definitely would increase the mixing <laughs> in the sure. surface. No one's scared of Greg. But it wasn't in this area really so much. I well, mean, there was enough waves, waves and wind most likely to have an effect. And even if it wasn't in this area, down below the water column, That's things could true. be That's traveling. True. Depending on the currents in the area, which... Maybe I'll do a little bit of research tomorrow on what specific currents are in this area. I got a random question. Mm. So when it comes to hurricanes, when they start classifying hurricanes and they name them, they start from the beginning of the year, I'm assuming, and they start off and it goes alphabetical, correct? Yeah. Yep. What happens when you meet Z? They, they do Delta, over. and oh. that's, the, wh that's where we got, got uh, like the Greek letter ones from pretty sure that's you, you, I they thought just they just started over and they did opposite uh, like in the male the, names the versus next female names so like you get to Z and you end on a male name Z or not, something do we then you start again go into but, with the female. but with opposite because it goes male female male female okay um, or whatever okay maybe I'm without totally without over gendering <laughs> <laughs> maybe games, what I'm thinking about is like <laughs> COVID strains yeah I think that <laughs> might be you were talking about Omicron I, well, I'm like I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah Still scarred, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, every time I every time I hear Omicron, I think <laughs> of um, every person. Yeah, who don't you remember it. Futurama? Strain Diane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, not funny. Sorry we'll to in. all the Diane's out there. Siphon of four. Oh, yeah, I think we got uh, that one has a really uh, long nectosome. Ooh, wow. He just so shed a bunch of stuff. See oh, he's shedding like parts of himself. Yeah, yeah turn on they the do down that. You lights? can see the sea dandelions do that, too. Oh, but ah. you see that's a really good shot of all the nectophores, the little Where are you going, Medusa man? type parts of the Whoa. nectosome. He doesn't like me. He's Doing descending as, he sh as we should. Uh, as we transport should, yeah. themselves through the water column. I am caught up with you. You're all right. We're going. We are going. Uh, okay, never mind. I thought you were closer than you. No, no, are. we're we're pretty stretched out. Stretched out enough that I'm not uh, I'm not concerned about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was. There's something was, red there. It, it was particularly bright. Ooh. Yeah, a couple of years ago when we were in the CCZ, we were doing benthic transects and then vertical transects through the water column. And I thought I drew the short straw yeah. doing, doing the water column but stuff. But it was really cool. But it was really cool. Nice. What were some things you saw? Um, we saw a Dumbo octopus, which Ooh, apparently wow. is really rare to yeah, see a kilometer up. But um, uh, And then a whole bunch of stuff that we're seeing now. Are you increasing speed right now? Y or? Yes, okay. I'm because I'm, I'm a little bit behind. 
No, no, that's fine. I was just curious why all the particles were zooming. Yeah. What do they know that we don't? <laughs> we're entering, entering light warp. Like warp speed. Warp speed. So what was the conversation we were having at dinner? Which superpower would you have? Huh. What was it, Jake? Oh, is this a B-less superpower? It, it, is this like a mundane superpower? This is like a not-so-superhero superpower? Yeah. Oh man, I used to have a good like I, couple go-to answers for that. I, I so did I, and I have one that a friend of mine brought up, and I'm like, yes, I want that. Mm. <laughs> and the power is the ability for myself and others uh, when the time uh, when it, when the time calls for it, basically when I decide <laughs> to go into chore uh, choreographed song and dance. <laughs> Cor cor corrugated. Coordinated. <laughs> coordinated. <laughs> coordinated. Coordinated. Choreographed. There's what did a lot I say? of words there. Did I say choreographed? What did I say? Cor I said coordinated, right? Coordinated. Coordinated. I think you said it sounded choreographed. more like corrugated cardboard. So you want to be able to instigate a flash mob, but without any training. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like a like a like like a like a live in West Side Story, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that would be like extremely annoying. <laughs> for, for, for like enemies, you know. <laughs> Great defense. Very distracting. Yep. They would actually be partaking. In they would have to, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so cool. are the other ones participating by force, or it it just kind of <laughs> happens? It's like it one of those. Happens. It was like it's like in uh, just like a regular musical. Like <laughs> 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 so everyone's happy to be singing and dancing. Everyone's and doing the thing, you know, and then they go about their lives. It's really funny. <laughs> That's the best superpower I've heard. Um, the other one is, what was another one that I had? Uh, one, uh, one, my friend, one of my friends, he he came up with one, the power to time travel forward, mm. about, oh, but only in about 10, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. The only issue is that it takes 10 to 15 seconds to charge. <laughs> 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 Can we zoom in, Panos? Oh. Ooh. Zoom out, one. zoom out. Another siphonophore? Uh, I right? think so. Yeah, 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 yep. Can they just grow by adding more to their chain? Whoa. I don't know how long. Wow. I think it's still species determined, like, how long the ratios of the different parts of them are. But, wow, this is a great shot of one. Wow. But they certainly can grow larger. Ooh, shedding is. What, what is he shedding? What is that? It's some of their zoids. I don't know if that's their their defense zoids or feeding zoids, but some some portion of their colony is ditching it. He's trying to get away. He's gonna succeed because I'm at the end of my leash. It's okay. I'd imagine there's some of the the zoids with stinging cells on them, and that that would be some kind of a defense mechanism. Yeah, you dropped all this stuff. Excuse me. You dropped something. Yeah, you dropped. <laughs> you forgot this. Come back so we can film you. All right, let's continue uh -huh. on. Oh man, I keep forgetting about, about this uh, camera. Jane, what was your superpower? So I was not at this dinner table, so I haven't thought about this. I'm trying to think now. A mundane one? I just want people to like me, you guys. Aww. <laughs> Aww, we do we like love you. you. <laughs> but how would you um, get no, the, like I guess I would probably want to be really good at poker. <laughs> oh, you can make a lot of money. That's, yeah, a, good that's, that's a good superpower. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, <laughs> were, were you not there when we were talking about shape shifting? We were the earlier, that but is not the, the best shape superpower. If you're Thank talking you. about an A class superpower, what do you mean, like, that yeah. is that always was what my I was answer. Saying. Because Mine too. what do you mean you from like going from like squares to rhombuses? No. <laughs> to trapezoids? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what, yeah, right? Um,. Yeah, because you can fly, you can yeah, swim, you can, you can turn into a person. You can you're, no, you're, you're into an ant. Time out, time out, time out. You're assuming that uh, your mass doesn't matter. My what? It doesn't. That's part of the superpower. None of this matters. What are you talking about? It doesn't totally matter. <laughs> Is that what no, you said? Your mass. You can't just turn into. Uh, uh, laws you can't of just physics turn don't into, apply. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. We're assuming superpowers. We can assume no. Of, yeah. No mass. If the laws of <laughs> physics applied, no, none of the superheroes would exist. Okay. That's not true. Yeah. Well, Ant Man, mass doesn't matter to him. Ant yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the the push, the part of his power specifically addresses that. Yeah, I've seen it. All right. <laughs> you just have to make something up that specifically applies to your. Yeah. 
So yeah, so the, the super super power, I was there for that conversation and I agree, that was exactly what I said as well. And I think I got everyone at the table to agree with me. Yeah, I was I was into the shape shifting. A couple other people did want to do the teleporting. Time travel. Aisa, I think I you think were teleporting. Paula said time travel. Okay, oh, wait, wait, I have yeah, a question for, sure. for you all about teleporting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can ask me, I know what I can think about. Oh, yeah, we have an expert here. <laughs> okay. Okay, would you, would you do it like, okay, so say teleporting was possible. Would you do it if every time that you did it, you were taking days off of your life? Sorry, this is maybe a little too philosophical. Oh, you mean like... Uh, like there was a consequence to doing it because of however it re reorganizes your... Uh, what What is oh, the yeah. ratio? Uh, a day. Because arguably... A day like off your life. A day off your life for, per teleport? Uh, yeah. let's, let's say five days off your life per teleport. Per sure. teleport. No, one yeah. day so that means five. Five, five. <laughs> Five days. Yeah. So that just means that you would then like uh, teleport five days distance. So like whatever uh, whatever distance is worth five days to you, you'll just that's at your minimum range. Or your you could teleport oh, wow. further away from Earth, where the that's interesting. Changing you're counting, time you're works saying, differently. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying the time spent on a plane is a waste of life. <laughs> well, no, because like it, it would make it would make it you'd get less back if uh, if you decided to go teleport to the corner for a cup of Starbucks. Right, right. Right? You, that, 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 that's a very expensive cup of coffee. Yes. Uh, in five days. But if you're trekking maybe across the country or yeah. to another part of the world, yeah. where normally it would take you about a day or two. Yeah. You're like, it's worth the five days. It might be worth the five days. two of those are kind of wasted anyway. That's interesting, though. Because so how much how much time in your life... And stress does Yeah, how does much, how much time in right your life is just... It's like it's commuting and travel. Uh, you go play like a montage. The stress actually will take time the off real of life your montage. life as well. So and you could accumulate that. carcinogens in bad places. That's like true. When it comes to teleporting, you have to remember it's not just about space. Time and space you are intertwined. You could get sick on that plane. So that's what I was saying. And if you, you go on further away from the Earth out into space where time changes at a different rate, isn't that a thing? Uh, yes. it's, you, you study it's, plasma. It's you traveling. Know. Uh, it, it's, it's, it has to do with speed. It has to do with the speed of light. Speed of light. Time space fabric. Yeah. And technic like oh. technically, yeah, the further away you are from gravity, the slower you Turn down the downlights. Am I? Is that a larvation? But it is on. But the good news is uh, on. in the teleport. No. No. Now it's a jelly. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well. That's a plastic bag now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What is that? Do we know? I, that, I think some sort I don't of... I know what kind of jelly it is, but... Jellyfish. So right. come back to okay. the good news. Bye bye. The good news is that we don't need to pay anything to teletransportation anymore. Yeah, I guess that's the that's the, the superpower the conclusion. So if you be here now, okay, I go to have um diving somewhere really nice and warm. Oh well, well here I'm thinking I'm in Ireland. <laughs> so actually yeah. I'm tel teletransported already. Yeah. Yeah. So, or if I'm hungry, I just go to my mom's house to have a uh, dinner, bye, and I come back. In <laughs> Brazil? I also want to go to Hayes' mom's house. Yeah. Yeah. I teleport oh, to your mom's house. <laughs> well, oh. see, see, but this adds up because, yes, you're saving the time that you would otherwise spend traveling there, but you would never spend that amount of time traveling that many times a year, usually, right? No, but that, that the, like, in the, in the way the teleportation is where uh, she's talking about, like, you are saving time you are gaining time in the sense that you're not wasting it in travel well i understand that but but if you do that then like 50 times a year then oh you mean you mean with your with your in your case in your scenario in my you zoom in then yes Ooh, fish very cool oh fish he's zoom. trying to get away hey come back silvery very flat he's very shiny Reflective? Can I say shiny about a fish? It's just not yeah, a rock, reflective. right? <laughs> oh, Zoom out, please. On. Wait, one more time. What was the reasoning behind not being able to say shiny about a rock? Because it's not cool. Because it wasn't shiny. Because a, sh a rock doesn't shine. Ooh, look at these pictures. Shiny comes from within. Well, well then explain <laughs> shine bright like a diamond by Rihanna. Yeah. Mm. That it is semantically incorrect. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's all semantics. Can I count? <laughs> but there's, those but, uh, uh, but that's not like uh, uh, it is shine bright. So the shine is describing the bright. All right. 
it's like, not shine like brightly. Actually, anymore. it should be brightly. It's also grammatically incorrect. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's music, so it's art. I know. I'm just being. A I super. wish we could use your superpower right now, and all of us could just break into a dance on shine bright. Oh, I thought you were going to say yeah. teleport to the oh bottom. God. <laughs> Um, we do have break into song and dance. We do have. Yeah, if there are real questions, please. Uh, da, da, yeah, we da, have da. lots of responses here in the chat. So don't forget that sometimes the journey is the point. Oh, not yeah, see, the yeah. Of the yeah. Journey. I was gonna bring That's that right. up. Like, how many when you have those weird layovers, the conversations you have, and the people you meet, yeah. the other people you see yeah, going about your day. I mean, I don't do that at all. That was one thing that that bothered me a little about the West Coast. Is on the East Coast, I was used to getting a people watch during my subway commute every morning. On the West Coast, you like, just, you're, in a, you're in a car. You are just pissed off in a car in traffic, <laughs> not talking to anybody else. I know that life Oh, sure. what's this guy? We're going to run into him. Oh, Someone in the mind. chat said that was a hatchet fish, that little one. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh. I would say the quality of the journey has declined in recent years as far as air travel goes anyway. So, car travel, air travel. Yeah, I would say I'd probably teleport for five days off my life to not have to be in a, a layover in Charlotte Airport. They also, um, we have a chat too, they used to use Greek letters for naming storms, but they retired those in, t in 2021. Oh, you were right. Oh. Thank you, I <laughs> thought that was a thing. I never Okay, I that. forgot about Hurricane Omicron. <laughs> 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 now oh, is that, what, is that what that was? You were vindicated. It says wow, now they use supplemental lists. There are six standard lists and one supplemental list active right now. Okay. Interesting there information. Go. Thank you. Thank you for filling that in. I wonder if that person is one of the, name, like yeah. the storm namers. Do you name the storms? Or just a very kind Googler. For whom does the storm get named? You're okay. No, I'm also at 22. Sorry? I'm, I'm starting to get ahead of you, just in case we see something, I can look at it momentarily without having to get you to getting you to stop. And you did get some votes here, Jane. Shape shifting would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, shape shifting is a good one. But only if I have it. But you would if everybody's a shapeshifter, then we're kind of in trouble. Then you're a scroll. But um, <laughs> uh, but then you, you'd have to have like a strong will, because what if you lose, like forget who you are? That's true. Yeah, I could just be Natalie Portman for the rest of my life if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. You'll be living your life as a doppelganger. Yeah. As a doppelganger. It would test whether I really love myself. <laughs> maybe maybe the rule on shape shifting is that you have to either be yourself as a human or like some sort of an animal. No, I don't like that rule. <laughs> I reject <laughs> that rule. <laughs> Defeats the purpose of the rule of the superpower. James, you didn't say your superpower. Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, what's this? The ability to not quite boil water, but like. Oh, get it make right it there. semi tepid. Looks like another jellyfish of some nice. sort. <laughs> so you could go swimming in warm go water. Go down. No, turn on the down lights, please. Yeah, you can like fill a tub, but whenever you need it. <laughs> but not oh, a hot. Like but not a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, some sort of another jellyfish cnidarian of some wow, sort. Wow, that's really Ooh, interesting. Oh, that one's a cool one. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Come on. Uh. Ooh. That was odd. Any guesses on what that is? A jelly. Another hydro jelly. I don't, uh, I don't know what kind. Oh, that's a really interesting one. Really pretty. Uh, I'm coming. I'm catching up. Yeah, I know. But you're okay. right behind me. I think I got some passable I'm images. I'm at one meter. There's something else there, too. Another one. Whatever that is. That is a tiny. It's always something. Actually, yeah, there you go. All right, I do have to go. He's a couple meters past us now. We're at 998 meters. Descending to a max depth expected to be 2,706 meters.
Well, let's stick at 27. That means see if I can catch you. Yeah. I'm not going to catch you. He'll catch me. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Is that my. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm going yeah. 30 something. I have a topic for conversation. I feel like we talked about like what would you be if you weren't a uh, whatever whatever, but what jobs have you had oh. prior to what we're doing now? Oh. That's a good question. Uh, let's see. I've worked in the service industry, like restaurants and stuff like that. And I was a sandwich maker. Sure. I've been a host and, and a waiter. I worked at a daycare. Are these all full-time jobs? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, I full time because I was working all the time, but not necessarily full time jobs. So. Which one did you like the best? Uh. I, I, I not can't. including ROV pilot. Uh, I would I would say like I didn't enjoy jobs until <laughs> 22. <laughs> um, huh, I worked at an American Eagle. Oh. So you were a sandwich maker? Can you explain that? Uh yeah, it was like a like a like a like like a. Like a del like a subway, but not subway. Is that why you have like very particular yes. feelings about sandwiches? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I worked at a Togo's, and I just like the way they. Like, Do you mean to go? No, it's Togo's. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's one word. Uh, -huh. uh but yeah, I, I used to work at a Togo's, and uh, yeah, it it, it uh, working at the Togo's because like the ingredients were just better. Like, I mean, it's still a fast food chain, so it's kind of whatever. But it did turn me off to Subway, and it turned me off to like most most sandwich places mm. that are chained. Any other uh, thoughts from the chat on things? Um, we did have a question of would you pick to be able to breathe underwater or go to any depth? For an unlimited amount of time. Ooh. Oh, wait. wait. But breathe how, under. How would you go? You would take underwater. air with you. Breathe underwater wherever you want, or be able to be in, or go to any depth. But you can breathe underwater, but you're still like subject to pressure. You yeah. know. So. Uh, but I, and the I, other I, one is you can only be at that one spot, but you. Can I would assume. There, I, guess. I would say. I'm a little confused by the question. Well, like uh, mostly, like, could you, would you rather go to the bottom, like we are, and not be affected by the pressure? Yeah, but how would you breathe? We'll say you could you could breathe, but you can only be at depth. Otherwise, you can only be at the surface. Would you rather be able to breathe at depth or the surface? Uh, I, I'm pretty depth. sure you would. I'm pretty sure you would breathe, like because if you could only breathe whenever water you want, but you're still subject to pressure, you'd find have to find ways to deal with the pressure when you go down. When you go, if you're can, aren't subject to pressure, you then just have to figure out how to breathe when you're down. There. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I have to bring some sort of like. Titanium scuba bottle or something. You would have to bring something. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to build a submarine. <laughs> Basically, would you rather go to the deep sea or would you rather be able to nipple jelly breathe underwater? Deep Hang. sea. Um, <laughs> if, if I can, if I don't have to, if I'm not subject to pressure, that means I can hold my breath just as long at depth. So I would right, go to can depth. Can you slow down? Yeah, please. <laughs> Oh, so that's, you know, that's really hard because breathing underwater whenever I wanted would be really, really, really cool and practical on a daily basis. And a really good thing to impress your friends with. Yeah. And really nice on vacation. I'm not really nice. Go uh, explore the fish. I wouldn't have to bring my scuba <gasps> gear ever. You could fake yeah. your own death really easily. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did that take it too dark? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. I said you could fake your death really easily. Oh, geez, Jane. I don't mean <laughs> that would Sorry. be really Not to like be I'm out of here. To on people. <laughs> oh, um, there's a technical question about the sure. two units on top of Herc at the front of either side of the section suction jars. On either side of the suction jars, the two units uh, like uh, on uh, top of the yellow bit uh, of the foam. Mm, not sure. If they're talking, uh, I'm assuming. That they're talking about the mezzo and USB. Yeah, that's what I would guess. 
uh, if it's the two things that pop out on the top, on either side of the suction jars. One is a sonar, and the other is uh, not really a sonar. It's a it's a like a emergency device, right? Right. What? The USB. USB. It's navigation. Navigation. Oh, there you yeah. go. One emergency, of the two. Yeah. One of those. Emergency I mean, Oh, no, no, I'm thinking about the flash on the side. Oh, the flasher, yeah. The flasher, that's the emergency the, yeah. thingy. The um, flashing beacon. Those are the only two <laughs> James things is like, I what are you out. talking about? What are you, you're confusing <laughs> me, I don't know. <laughs> James is like, I'm just trying to get to the to the bottom here. Uh, that big to differ. Oh, yeah, I think James is the one not trying to get to the bottom, <laughs> I'm trying, yeah, I want to see stuff. <laughs> Huh. I still want to know about people's past jobs too. We only got through. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We, only got, uh, we, we well. only got through Michael's like American seven Eagle. jobs he's done before. <laughs> and then I, uh, what else did I do? Oh man, I worked a lot. You have a James? very diverse. Um, oh, I worked as one of those uh, uh, the the, the arrow to movement? to uh, one of the people on the corner that say you, hey, check out this open house. Oh, oh. you're spinning the sign. No, spinning wait, what did you do? Spinner. Spinner. What did you do spinner. for temperature control and to pass the time? Like in your mind? I uh, I didn't do anything for temperature control. Was it California? It was just really hot. It was California. I just dealt with the heat. Uh huh. Uh, and then I had like a, I had a Walkman. A Walkman. Oh yes. Nice. A Walkman. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just over there dancing. How did that? Do, does did that, that come with the spandex or? Yeah. Yes. Nice. How did that help prepare you to be an RV pilot? It did not. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is part of the question how it prepared you for where you're at? Um, now? Well, <laughs> I'm just, I was just trying to draw yeah. parallels uh, to it. <laughs> it gave me more grit. There you go. Because I had to do what I needed to do. Yeah. Might have gotten <coughs> you through school or something, too. It was just, yeah, it was just there, uh, something I needed to do. <laughs> and then I was Anyone? in the Navy for six years, and now I'm a grad student. And then I'm doing this. And um, improv, right? Uh, yeah, but I don't say that oh, was a did job. Did you just make all that up? I wouldn't say that was a job. <laughs> James was like, did you just make all that up? I get it. I see what he did there. I see what he did there. Nice. Uh, it's definitely, yeah, I wouldn't consider it a job because I didn't get paid for it, that's for sure. Who else? I'm curious. That's a good question. I, I managed a, a driving range. Oh, you, oh what? A driving range to golf course. Nice. In the summertime? Yeah, I did that through university. Did you have to like go out and groom the grass where people hit the ball? Uh, no, I was uh, I was I managed the crew that collected all the balls and you know staged the range at night and stuff for the next day. Yeah. I was a telemarketer. Oh really? really? Oh boo! Well, you've got a great telemarketer voice though. <laughs> yeah, you're very friendly. I knew I, I recognized I you. You're very hanging up. I knew I recognized you. Hang up on the wall. <laughs> well, it, it had Flick. like a system where it like generated the calls for you, and so you just kind of waited, and then it would go like ping, and you would just start talking. Um, uh huh. But you had the option to skip the calls, and so I would sometimes skip the calls because <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't like people yelling at me all the time. Yeah, that sounds tough. But it was high school and it paid well, and all okay. my friends were doing it, so it was fun. <laughs> well, in that case, <laughs> as long as your friends as long are as doing everyone it. Else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's a joke, kids. Yeah. Don't do what your friends do. Unless, of course, they study very Unless hard. Unless it's good. <laughs> what about you, Lena? Uh, are these like, are we going for like odd jobs? Just maybe yeah, any jobs anything. you might have had that are. Boat, my boat, boat, when boat. I was younger, like all my first jobs were working in retail. And I <laughs> was like, yeah, the first retail store I want to work at is going to be in Times Square. Oh, and so that was crazy. Oh my gosh. People would walk in and like steal a whole, like, because the doors are always wide open and you're, there's all kinds of greeters and people coming in and out constantly. <sighs> they would pick up a stack of stuff and run Is out with that? it. <gasps> yeah. Also, this it was fun actually because there were a lot of tourists who would uh, speak different languages. Oh, so I got nice. to practice my language yeah. skills there. They'd always be like on the on the on the mic the kind of radio system we had. Like, does anyone speak French? <laughs> Help this lady find her size. How did you get to your job? Did you like take a train or, I mean, I know you were in the city, but. Yeah, yeah, subway, subway nice. all the time. I actually had a routine at at one oh, of the. Uh, during the day? I'll let them go ahead yeah. first. 
No, you're good. This is some important. You're not. You're not on SPL. Oh, then I'm just force listening. Okay, I can keep talking. I guess. <clears throat> I'm gonna put pressure. Um. Did you have to stop anyone from stealing? One, two. No, He's you know the companies times, I was probably. working for were big enough that I was like, I'm not gonna chase. That's not worth me me running after them. Um, one of one of my routines, I would like have a weekend sleepover at my friend's house, and I wouldn't even bother bringing. <laughs> I wouldn't bring my makeup or change of clothes or anything because you could wear. You were allowed to like. You had to wear the company's clothing at the store, mm -hmm. and they would let you like loan it out for the day, basically. Okay. So I did that, and there was a Sephora across the street. So I would do my makeup at Sephora. Oh my gosh. And then I would oh go my gosh. That's amazing. Go. <laughs> I was like, I don't even need to pack for this. <laughs> Except for a toothbrush. Always had a toothbrush. Then you were uh -huh. out. That was awesome. Yeah. That was how I avoided the extra subway commute. I was like, I go to school in the city. I will just stay in the city. I will go to work in the city. And then I will go home. What's that like growing up in a big city like that? It, there uh, is never a lack of stuff to do. Yeah. And it was a really fun place to be super broke because uh. <laughs> you could be like, you know, a high school student with no money except the, the money from your retail job. But you could find like two dollar cheap eats, yeah. really good dumplings in Chinatown. You could find like, I don't know, all these little niche hole in the wall places. Like Food's the, amazing. Like too. the money would go a long way. The money could go a long way. And you also, I mean, in a, a big city, not everyone takes the time to do this, but like museums have free nights or donation based nights and so I could go to all the stuff everyone else went to. I just had to like, you know, strategize a little bit and make your connections. Yeah. That's cool. So it, it was kind of it was fun to have the ability to get there by myself on the subway and to coordinate with friends and do whatever do all the activities. It's not a bad thing. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like a lot of cities are not really that way anymore. Things are a lot pricier now. I don't know about New York specifically, well, but New York is super pricey. But you can you can still totally find like yeah. same thing I was doing. Yeah. Jane, did you pose the question about the jobs because you had one you wanted to divulge to everyone? Um, not specifically. I mean, I was talking earlier with Paula and Dwight. I just mentioned that um, I used to be a scuba instructor for a little while. Oh, that's awesome. Um, which kind of led me into scientific diving, and then I was working in coral restoration in Miami for a while. So those are some cool jobs that I like to brag about I from time to my, time. I just got my certification last August. I wish you, you had been my instructor. That would have been fun. Yeah. Well, I will say that I did it while I was in college, and so I was not the most responsible <laughs> of school <laughs> instructors. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I, safety, things like that. Definitely. But I, I was not, like, I wasn't good about recruiting students, and it was, Yeah. I had to, like, stay at the, so I taught at a quarry in central Virginia, Yeah. which mm. is, like, not the most beautiful diving but they actually sank a whole bunch of boats and I think they actually sank an airplane at Whoa. 60 feet for the deep quote-unquote certification um, and actually if you guys have seen the replacements with Keanu Reeves they sunk the boat that he lived on oh, in that movie in this quarry how did they well, get, that's kind of cool yeah. how did they get the boat I don't know. Probably donated or something. But in any case, I I had to like pay out of my own pocket as a as a college student to like go stay there over weekends with students that I was teaching and so yeah. you had to pay I, out of your own pocket. Yeah, it was a little and it doesn't matter. But anyway, dive instructors need a lot of patience. Though, yeah, because it's a yeah. difficult thing to and learn how to do. And it's hard to manage that many people. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. I usually had very small classes because, like I said, I was bad at recruiting. Recruit anybody. <laughs> but I, um, I really liked it. And I, when I say I was not responsible, that did not apply to my actual of diving course. teaching. It was yeah. just more in the way of like, I don't know. I didn't want to like give up my entire weekends during college to to do it constantly. So I didn't stay a scuba instructor for all that long maybe a couple of years yeah. it's okay it served its role in <sighs> giving you where you are yeah and I, I liked it yeah i got certified in a quarry similar to that and then went and um i had my first dives in hawaii <laughs> i was oh, like oh this is very nice. different <laughs> and i also was was and still am a bartender oh nice beer tender now nice what about you, uh, Ashley? Did you you already said one, right? Yeah, you said I was a telemarketer, but I worked in you know restaurants and did all of the typical things. Um, after college, I was a Peace Corps volunteer. Oh yeah, really? That's right. You were telling me about Where that. Where did you do Peace Corps? You met your husband, I, right? Yep, I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Guatemala for two and a half oh, years. Oh wait, you did mention this. Yes. Yeah. So, 
I would have led with that yeah. instead of telemarketer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why she joined the Peace Corps to make up for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. like karma. I called email. all these people for two years, and now I have to do something. <laughs> what about Panos or Lynette? Yeah, I've done a lot of jobs also. I worked as a ceramist. Oh, make, really? Ceramist? Fake teeth. Oh, fake teeth, no ceramist, like teeth were. For teeth? Whoa, yes. that's so oh. interesting. Yes. And wow. then I went to the school for camera operator. When I first moved to the US, my first job was a UPS. That was like my dad's, month. one of my dad's jobs. Yeah, and then in a pizza store, and then I found a job as a camera operator and video technician. Cool. During COVID, though, I had oh, to wow. work as a handyman. Oh. Because, you know, our job was... Right. Job's I was job. mostly working for live events, corporate meetings. It was the first one that stopped. Right. So, yeah. But now I'm back. Yeah, with such a pause happy. in live events, I can imagine oh, there yeah. wasn't much work during that time. Yeah. Yeah. Lynette, do you have any fun jobs you want to tell us about? Oh man, I've Lynette had, like, has a, a lot. Of jobs. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked in a bunch of restaurants and coffee shops. I worked in galleries and museums, um, framing and maintaining prints. I did monument and sculpture, conservation, oh. restoration. Oh, wow. What else? The I island. worked in a veterinary clinic for a long time. Oh, were you a vet tech? Yeah. Nice. Um, My mom was a vet tech for a long time. Nice. I worked on a dairy farm. Oh yeah, I've done that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? Kingman Palmyra, or Kingman. Oh Sorry, yeah. no, Paul Myra. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I worked um, on Palmyra Atoll, cutting down coconut palms with a machete Ooh. for four months. <laughs> <laughs> Were you cutting down? Are they invasive? Is that? Yeah, 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 they're invasive. So trying to get rid of most of those. Did you get to eat the coconuts? Oh, yeah. Eat slash drink the coconuts. <laughs> All the coconuts you can handle. My favorite. Are you, yeah. sick, of, are you sick of coconuts? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny, like, I got off the island, and I was in Hawaii, and went to a farmer's market in Hilo, and there was this giant stack of coconuts, and it was, like, anxiety-inducing. <laughs> 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 You're like, that's all I've been doing for four months. <laughs> I was like, we need to kill these. Um, yeah. <laughs> kill the coconuts. <laughs> What was the housing like when you were living on the island? Um, they have cabins. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice. Um, sort of like screened in cabins, usually shared with a roommate, um, depending on the population of the island. Sometimes you get a cabin all to yourself. How did you manage the heat? Um, I feel like we got acclimated to it really quickly. Um, and then I came back home to Wisconsin in February and almost died. Wisconsin? <laughs> Wisconsin? <laughs> Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Do you live in a mansion? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the um, <sighs> science manager in training on the last expedition I was out for, the Kingman Paul Iver expedition, was, uh, which Lynette was also out on, was um, Chris Ryan, who's the station manager at. Palmyra, and he was giving a presentation and showing us pictures of where they lived and what it was like, and and cool pictures of Lynette in like jumpsuits with <laughs> machetes. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, it was cool. I want to do that job, wear a jumpsuit and have a machete. That sounds fun. <laughs> Dude, you should do it. <laughs> Super fun. Do you have to take a machete wielding safety course? Nope. Nice. No rules. <laughs> no rules. <laughs> Huh. You know what always amazed me is in Guatemala they used to cut grass with machetes. It was so um, crazy. Yeah. Oh, is that a shrimp? Oh. Oh, maybe. Lena, what about the tall ships? Uh oh. Shh, <laughs> <laughs> shh, 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 shh. It's classified.
one of my more interesting jobs, not because of like, the job itself, but just because what I what I had to deal with mm. was uh, selling cell phones. Because then selling I get to like, phones. yeah, mm. sell cell phones. Yuck. I, I hated it. Uh, <laughs> but I got to see all the cool tech coming out, like all the new phones as yeah. they came out. And man, like, well, like, it was around the time the Razor came out. Nice. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. You were, sell you were, were selling sidekicks. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. You, you were selling cell phones? Yeah. Oh. He sells I cell phones down by, by the, the seashore. seashore. By the seashore. <laughs> it's a better business model than seashells. <laughs> Just going to buy a seashell by the seashore. Actually, a lot of people on vacation <laughs> do that. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, yeah, Have so you seen bathrooms on the Cape? Yep. It's a lot of seashells. It was inside of a Sam's Club. Nice. And uh, we, I didn't work for Sam's Club, but it was just like one of those kiosk things, which made it even worse because that means I had to like stop people who did not want to come in for a cell phone. Sounds <laughs> like something <laughs> I have had to experience before. Yeah. But like I guess I got to got to play with around with with the uh, stuff I couldn't ever afford really, like the razor and then like what else? The iPhone oh. when it first came out. Hmm. Bunch of flip phones. I'm glad that they're making a comeback. What was your favorite, uh, like, of the old, of the, I don't want to say old school phones, of the, the, the years, just years before smartphone phones? You could say old phones. <laughs> yes, old phones. Phone phones. What um, were your favorite phone phones that were not also smart? Your the ones that I phones? had, uh, like, uh, uh, the ones I wound up getting, they were by Samsung. They were pretty cool because you could fold them up like a regular clamshell. Can you slow down, shell, please? Like a regular clamshell. Uh, but then you can close it and then flip it the other way and it becomes a keyboard. Wait, those were my, wait, 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 the, the duos, like you could. It, it, it goes like this, doom, oh, and then that way. Oh, yeah. Uh, then there's like, I always wanted a sidekick. I always wanted a sidekick, but I had the Pantech duo. It could slide up and slide over. Yeah, the OG uh, slide. That, that was cool, that was cool. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, man, phones back then were like fun. They were fun. You could pick your shape and everything. Yeah. Okay, this is why everybody loves Britney's phone. Because it's like, it folds in half and is a smartphone and, and the screen folds and it's And just it's got a cute little loop that you can like And it has a cute little loop you can <laughs> hook Wait, into who, things. Who's this phone? is our Samsung sponsored Britney our, product our for the SCF. Oh. Sponsored content. Whose phone? Yeah, content. right. We're not going to talk about. Who's whose phone? Brittany, the other SCF. Oh, uh, okay. They okay. dropped one. We're not going to talk about uh, what the company is that makes it, but. <laughs> We were getting sushi, and I did see it in the store, and I was like, oh, my God, it's your phone. It's so cool. Yeah, they're cool. I'm like, that's why I'm so glad she that, said it, uh, that, it, that it's making a comeback. My favorite thing about a, f a flip phone is that being on a phone call, and then, like, if I'm mad, and it's just like, <laughs> and hang up. You know what? I have to go. I'm done. I think so. The put, newer the phones are, the, phone. the less fun they are to slam in anger like <laughs> the old school rotary phones that had like the ding when you if you slammed it that was satisfying what I, what I like about older technology is that like it was very decorative a lot of it was very decorative my yeah. my, my grandparents had, and for like until they sold the house and as far as i know they probably they might still have it somewhere but, but probably not um they had an old phone it wasn't a rotary phone it was like a push button but it had like wood laminate. It was a big box. You open it, and on the top of the box, it was like a carved out ship. Whoa. It was like a painted uh, carved ship. It was a like, phone? Uh, it was a phone box. Wow. It was a straight up phone. It looked like a, it was like a treasure chest looking thing. It was huge. It was just a phone. Very impressive. <laughs> yeah. How about those old car cell phones, the <laughs> bricks? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, Phones used to be fun, and I'm, uh, like I said, I'm glad that flip phones are coming back because now they can be uh, quirky and stuff. Yeah. I miss old school pay phones. Also very fun to slam in anger. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to pay for it when and it breaks. Yeah. Well, you do, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Lilo, what was our max depth again? 2700. Um, oh, we're descending right a little slower than normal. It's a pressure thing. Do tell. I remember uh, under, under we're pressure. fighting pressure flow. Uh, uh, so we'll if I knew, I could explain it. We lose thrust. We're See, fighting. Which, yeah. Does that seem to? Gabby was saying something about that, like yep. oscillating. For it was like part of the dive, and then the rest of the dive was okay. It was intermittent. Yes. Intermittent. It has been intermittent, which is making it very hard to pinpoint. to pinpoint. Right. 
We've got a nice chat. Good morning, team. Have a great dive and exploration. Thank, thank you. Good morning. We oh, appreciate thank you. you. We love these positive thank comments you. in the chat. They help keep us going, so we really appreciate you all. It's 1.37 in the morning, and we're having a great old time here. Yeah. I, I miss uh, calling collect. Or. Wow. Star Bob had to be pizza boy. <laughs> and the commercials too. What? When you had to star six nine people, I might be dating myself here, yeah. but no, no, I remember it. no, we definitely know that. <laughs> I still sometimes I still go yo, what's the four one one? Is that from? Oh, because you used to dial four one one. I thought four one one was something about the like information. What's the reference to? Yeah. It's what's just the info? What the haps? Well, well, yeah. What's the info? What's happening? <laughs> but I thought four one one was like. Is James that an is info here, line? Like, this is a thruster that, that, power issue that we are stopping for. Four one one was. Yeah, four one one was your information mm -hmm. line. Oh, you was could it? Okay. Call in to ask anything. I guess I'm getting confused. There were so many. There was one for prank calls where you, not that I ever did them, but <laughs> where you could like press it before you dialed somebody and it wouldn't show up oh, in caller ID? Is yeah, that, that was six? like a 6-7, I think. That was a, that was like a pound 6-7 or something. Okay, like that. yeah. that's what I thought star 6-9 or whatever we were talking about before was. See, you can't even do that with the cell phone now, though, right? No, uh, uh, you need to pay for that <laughs> 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 or find some other service to do that. It's kind of wild how your phone can be like, this is going to be a scam. <laughs> don't <laughs> even bother. Don't even bother. I don't even think people answer their phones anymore. Yeah. It's like, leave me a voicemail and I'll text you back. Yeah. <laughs> right. Back here. It's terrible. Yeah. You got to call people <laughs> and you got to be like, oh, man, is this person in my, my top five? If they're five? not in my, yeah, my top, top five. five. <laughs> my I will only answer calls from my top five. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm let me call you back after nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Family time minutes or something. Yeah, you get three nights and weekends. Right. <laughs> What I loved before we got out here was um, FaceTiming my kids and all the fun little faces they put on. So I end up spending all the time just looking at like a characterized version of my child. Oh. <laughs> I don't even get to see her face. Oh, <laughs> oh because it was all... She like puts the giraffe emoji or whatever Wait, on her face. you can do that on FaceTime? Yeah. <laughs> what? So we don't even talk. She just like puts all these different pictures on. Imagine, yeah, you could have like Snapchat FaceTimes <laughs> and you would just be like, you know, like a mouse the whole time. Yeah, or, like, she's a like a shark the other day. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, another jelly oh, pretty. Or Some kind of jelly, but I don't see the uh, teens. Tina I want to say Tina 4, but I don't see the teens. Yeah, it looks like a comb. Or the fours. I can't believe you guys groaned at my joke. Oh, what joke? so good. So what's a comb jelly's favorite time of day? 10.04. Bring it back. He Say it again until people laugh. <laughs> Maybe we just didn't hear it. Man. Technology used to be so cool. Technology is still cool. It is until it's not. Yeah, there's that. And then it's just annoying. But it was annoying to have to T9 text. It was. Oh, I yeah. But I was so did. good at it. I could do it without did looking at it. us from texting quite as we much. We talked about that. Was that was effective. I know? actually it think was. it made people who were going to text and drive were going to do it anyway, and that just made it worse, I think. Well, that's that's true. Yeah, <laughs> and you could, you could, like, feel you didn't have to look at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, like, you just know you misspelled something. You're like, uh, I'd like go back at least four letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, T9, you need a paper text. Right, there were limits here. I, I know, people who have like entire arguments over text, that's just like, it's just, it's just yeah. not effective. <laughs> just call them. I remember having to call, like before, like right before I was like, getting, so I didn't get a cell phone until I was like 17, 18. Because I had to pay for it myself. Uh, but, uh, uh, my mom would constantly have a pager going off. Because she had a pager, she worked at a hospital. Yeah, pagers, pagers were funny. Yeah. Okay, so when I went to Antarctica and was living on station for at McMurdo for two and a half months, it was we you went back in time and it was really fun because everyone only had there wasn't just Wi-Fi walking around on station. Kind of the only places you could get Wi-Fi were in some common areas on certain computers or if you were in the science laboratory space. It's actually um, kind of nice, probably. Yeah, and so there were everyone had a phone in their room like a normal wall phone or or whatever our desk phone and um you could it was like a five digit number for every every one of those phones and you would just memorize your all your your friends yeah. rooms phones <laughs> and hope that they were in their room when you wanted to find them or you knew you know their, their work line and it was just like old life yeah you had to go, like, hmm, where would they be at this time of day? And oh. go search for them. Make plans and then not cancel them, you know? Yeah. Or, like, call and nobody you know what, answers. You know what it's I think like, is oh. uh, very interesting? Is that uh, where are you is a relatively recent question in the history of... Right, because if oh. you picked up your phone, it would be like... Because, like, usually you would have house. to know <laughs> where they're at in order to call them. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't until, well, like, the only time, like, where are you type of thing would be, like, where are you going now or, like, yeah, kind of yeah, thing when you're sending letters to, where a, you to a boat or something like that or to some type of military thing. But, yeah, in the common sense, where are you is a relatively new human thing question. to ask someone. That's interesting. That is interesting. No longer reserved for hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> Give her uppers. <laughs> at the hiding or the seeking. <laughs> oh yeah. Is James talking to us? I can't hear him. <laughs> did, you, did you get good at this with your uh, kids? You've, James, is that for SPL? Because we can't hear you. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. sorry I forced yeah. listen to you. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I'm just you know, talking to myself, I guess. <laughs> All the funny bits are just gone. All the funny jokes. bits are gone. No, I was just saying that, yeah, I am the hide and seek <laughs> master. Oh, nice. The toddlers ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your strategies. What's the longest? Three years and two months. Three, I'm still hiding. <laughs> they still haven't found me. Do you just take your phone and go sit in the corner somewhere? Or? No, the key... Actually, I don't know if I should be giving this up. Oh, yeah. You to might potential be rivals. <laughs> we got to get a game going <laughs> tomorrow. You might be divulging know. your secret. No, go, 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 go. Oh, the, the key is to not be static. Oh, yeah. hide. You hide close to where they start, and oh. then as soon as they move, you move in behind the where they've checked. You're, wow. you're, you follow them. That's good. Did you guys I used to play hide and go seek with like a base that you had to get back to? Like yes. Manhunt okay. All yeah, right. that sounds cool too. I said that to my kids recently, and they were they were yeah, like, yeah, that was really I don't fun, know what that means. At night it's home base. Yeah, that's the whole point. Like if you get back to home base, then without being found, then you're fine. We used to do hide and seek like neighborhood wide. Yeah, same. Yeah. In high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neighbors loved us. Uh, back when playing outside was like the thing to do. Yeah, I have oh. I have a summer night sister, and it bothers me that she doesn't have those nights. Like I had my kids on the block, you know. Yeah. Hang out with after school. You would just you go got, go over to their Jenny porch on the block. and be like, Yeah. <laughs> are are you are you here? <laughs> yeah. Not where are you? Are you home? Yeah. No, you memorized their phone number. You would be like, "Hi, Mrs. Fisher, is Lily home right now?" Yeah. And then you would play outside and you would play make believe or whatever yeah. it was or the you kids did. And she doesn't do any of that. It's like she you text she somebody. gets a FaceTime from the girl across the street, and then runs across the street and they go play iPad games together oh at her house. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, when I was like up to like. I'm like at least five years older than any of my cousins or my siblings. So up to then, I didn't really have anybody in my neighborhood. Uh, and so I was kind of like a lonely kid. It was kind of sucked. And then one day I was out uh, like just rollerblading or something. And then 
I I got I fell over because a uh, a rock hit me. Someone was skipping rocks oh. while skating, just skipping rocks on the asphalt, which is fine. I've done that before. We're kids, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Oh man, I'm sorry." And it's a kid my age, right? Yep. I'm like, Oh, sweet. And then like we were skating, we're talking. And it's like, "Oh man, that's cool, cool." It turns out he had just moved there. Oh nice. yeah. He's like, "All right, we want to keep playing. Want to do something else?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah. I just, let's put our skates away." I'm like, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take mine off, and I'll be right back, and then we'll go take yours off. No. I live right there. And he's like, what? Really? Yeah. Why? Because I live right there, and he pointed right next to my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or did you become best friends, or did he just yeah. never come back out Did again? we just become best friends? No, yeah, we're best yeah. friends. I, I thought you were going to say you <laughs> took your rollerblades <laughs> off, and then he stole them. We're best them friends to this day. I thought, also I thought he was going to go inside and put his rollerblades away and just not come back. <laughs> <laughs> he's also what? He's also a physics major. He's doing what? a PhD. In yeah. the same oh. uh, school as you? No, he's in uh, oh. he's in Philadelphia right now. It's a real awesome meet, story. It's a real meet cute. A meet cute. We've been friends for like 30 years. I love that. Yeah. My... My <laughs> meet cute with one of my neighborhood friends, which is not cute, <laughs> was. <laughs> wait, your neighbor, wait, your, your, your neighbor's not, not cute. Friend or isn't cute, or no, the situation she's, she's isn't cute. cute. <laughs> it was. I, I guess I moved to this new neighborhood when I was six, and I was also I was kind of like I hadn't found the kids on the block yet. I just was like, are, are they there? And um, but then I saw a couple of them, and I guess. <laughs> I guess that I, I challenged, I don't, I don't remember this story at all. Only she remembers this story because I think I'm, I was pretty shy at that age still. But I guess she challenged, they were racing. Kids were like doing just, I don't know, races down the block. Sure. And I must have challenged her a race to a race and then beat her. And then I was super like not nice about it or something. <laughs> and this is how she remembers our first meeting. She's like, I'm going to hate this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Was but, her name uh, Toledo? Now we are still very close friends. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. She's just timing her payback. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Playing She's the like slow training game. for a race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still good friends with some of my neighborhood people as well. Tell us your meet cute. I mean, we don't really have a meet cute. I lived on, I grew up in the same house. My parents still live in the same house that I was born in. So, like, I wasn't, I wasn't born in the house, but. Um, I mean, there was a whole little neighborhood gang of ruffians, but Andrew, if you're listening to this, what's up? My friend Andrew. Hi, friend Andrew. Fun fact, I was born in my house. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom did home births for all three of us. Wow. Nice. People always think that's such a, they're like, I guess I didn't realize how not common that was. Well, it just yeah. sounds painful. Yeah, I guess so. She yeah, didn't do it any for of For the that. house. I can tell you it is painful. Oh, oh did you do a home birth? Yeah, um, not home, but at a birthing center. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's very uncommon in Canada. Uh, she <laughs> even did it. To my her, to her? sister no. um, had like a potential heart issue. I guess I, I can't explain this well, but there's like a certain hole in your heart that closes when oh, you're yeah. born. And there was a risk that hers was not going to close. Jeez. And... If that happened, she would need to, you know, pretty quickly be at a hospital. But we're in New York City, very close to yeah. many hospitals. So my mom still opted to do it at home, and it did end up being fine. But do, 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 do. she was pretty insistent. <laughs> do you four. Yeah. That's cool. Friends for life. That's what friends are for. That it, you know. I prefer to like compete against him and have him be like my arch enemy type nemesis. Then I know all his secrets. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, wait, what? What's yeah. his name? Uh, is <laughs> huh? What's his name? Justin. Justin. Okay, Justin. 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 Michael. Yeah. Arch nemesis. Yeah, I, ha I hang around, like I'm still friends with the family and everything. Um, so much so that like, they'll be talking about like family events and then like yeah but like as if i was there right <laughs> and you like, probably were for a lot of like, them yeah i was there for a lot of them and then like you know yeah wasn't it yeah were, you, you were, were you at there? randy's the other day i'm like no no i wasn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah because we did the thing we're like no that wasn't me <laughs> that's so funny that i was, was on a boat in the middle of the central pacific <laughs> yeah and then like yeah we get kicked out of one house, and we just move. We yeah. just go next door to the ne to the next house until we get kicked out of there, and we just hang out outside. <laughs> we do. 
me and my friends would do the same thing, but with cake. Like, we go to one house, eat the cake, get some cake, get <laughs> some ice cream, and go to the next. Really? Uh, why did every cake have ice cream? Why would you? Did I say every? Did I say every cake have ice cream? Well, that's a pretty it's valid question. <laughs> every cake <laughs> should have ice cream. Oh, let's not get back to the caking pie question. Oh. Does every? Why does every house have cake and ice cream? Was it everybody's birthday? Because it's Canada. Because it's Canada. Because they're oh. happy up there. The land of <laughs> the land of <laughs> milk and cake and cake. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that every house in Canada has cake and ice cream? All oh, the yeah. time. All the time. Oh. Yeah, it's a staple. It's a staple. We give it to our pet beavers. After a hard day's logging. <laughs> Party logging, yeah. Um, yeah, that's always fun. Well, we're working up to ice cream day here pretty soon. Oh, yeah. oh we can move gosh. on. What day is it now? Saturday? It's, it's technically Saturday. It's going to be tomorrow's technically it's Saturday, yeah. Still. Saturday. Wait, it's, fri oh, it's the it's end of Friday. Yeah. No, today's Saturday. It doesn't, I always it do doesn't this count until I you sleep, though. That's not true. I always do this where I look at my watch and it tells me that it's Saturday. And it's 1 a.m. But I, then I look at the at the UTC yes. time, and I'm like, oh, wait, but it's actually in seven minutes. It's going to be Sunday. So I'm like two days ahead of my bus. Yeah, it is confusing for sure. Also, that would be totally wrong because that's is it? 11 a.m. I think we could have a whole conversation about the concept of time on the boat. So okay. I think we have. Okay, so here we go. Anybody? Okay, okay, you've, you've done, done a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I, I really do have something to launch into there. And that was when I went on the first flight where it was a really long flight to between LA and Australia. And it had up the really nice detailed map on the back of the seat on the screen. Oh, and yeah. And you could turn on the, um, the sinusoidal wave of uh, the like pattern? Of, day, yeah, of daylight, and where, where it was daylight yeah, and yeah. where it was darkness. And just that combined with having to convince myself, like, OK, so just the date line. Yeah. Having to look at that and be like, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. So they're both, both of these places are about to experience the same daylight, but on a different day. I don't know. I, just, like, <laughs> like, I sat whoa. there for like three How tired hours. Are you? <laughs> I sat there for three hours staring at that, trying to make it make sense. And this was, I was 17. So this was before I actually really had a good grasp yeah. on the fact that there was a tape behind it that ships like Nautilus have to deal with and they cross it and it is legitimately a weird thing arbitrary yeah somebody was saying like on previous expeditions they've had to cross and it's one day and then they go back and it's a different day yeah and, and apparently all kinds of interactions yeah. got like accidentally <laughs> scheduled <laughs> on the wrong days. all of our calls oh with classrooms i can imagine how hard that would be to keep i up think with. it was a nightmare for the communication <laughs> uh the education outreach team oh this is oh we've got a very important question in the chat um mix your cake with ice cream or eat it separately uh ice i would eat cake. the ice cream by itself and not the cake <laughs> <laughs> i go ice cream on one side cake on the other side of my plate but do you take like one bite of ice cream and then one bite of cake you or know you i mix it up i uh not literally but like a couple bites here a couple bites there you don't make a there bite there bite everywhere bite bite I feel like I need things to be combined. I need to know that there's enough to have both of them in every bite. <laughs> yeah. And I do that thing where if you don't have enough of your side for like the main, you know, for, for co bites, <laughs> co -bites. I, ha I have to keep getting more of the side or more of the main <laughs> until really it funny. evens out. <laughs> so do you put the ice cream scoop on the cake so that that? It doesn't it have to be on it, but it does have to be. Are a you? Uh, are you have to have a consistent balance are between you? the side and the main. Exactly. Are you one of the people that? Uh, like if you were to have cheesecake with whipped cream and strawberries on it, you have to go <laughs> fork down, uh, a prongs down on it, so you make sure you get the right amount of whipped cream, strawberries, and cheesecake. As opposed to what? Pro as, probably, as opposed to yeah, what? I'm as opposed to just digging in and getting what you get. It. No, no, but I am not someone who, who cares about the separation. Actually, this is probably makes sense. Like, I, you don't care if they touch. You just I, it can need actually, it to be an it equal should, amount. It's easy if it's all layered like. <laughs> If it's, all, if it's like a like a Where burrito, you know it's like already a shepherd's pie. Bite. You like the <laughs> you like the like uh, like like geologists like sedimentary layers. You like I, your food layers. Yeah, I think presentation is really important. So at Thanksgiving, you know, I like have to make it all the the little 
little sections for everything, and you take a picture of your pretty plate with all your stuff on it, and then I... And then it's cold. I, and then I will mix it together. And then you're a monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am. I, I, <laughs> I am, too. Especially when it comes to Thanksgiving food. That is, like, oh, man. made Ooh, for mixing. Joy. We're not allowed to talk about food until 3.30. Quite a while. There's no food after that, though, either. Yeah, you, you know, that rule arose on the last oh, cruise that I was on this launch, too. And no I talking about food? Where did, until a time. Uh. Where, where did that come from? Oh, no, actually, what we were saying, you can't say that you're tired until 3.30. Oh, there you what go. What about time? It's arbitrary. <laughs> it's a concept. Speaking of arbitrary, it says in the chat, it's 9.55 p.m. Saturday, which is in, in Australia, which isn't okay. arbitrary. Oh, okay. It's real. It's just... That is real. Hi, Australians. Yeah. And you know we're not that far away from you. Yet. Which which side I wonder is that like East Coast Queensland or West Coast Perth? If you're still in the chat, just let us know. Let's where zoom you in there, Panos. Oh. We're at two thousand one hundred and thirty-one oh. meters. Our max depth is two thousand seven hundred and six. Now what are we? I don't know. Looking at her. I feel like it's and a here you have a something. strand of wow. spit. Gross. Yeah, it does kind of just look like eh? mucus it, string. I don't know what uh, yeah, it was coming from. I don't it know. hurts to see. Do siphonophores live up this deep? Yeah. 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 Siphonophores all over the place. But yeah, right, I didn't gross. see the, the like, 20 yeah, distinctive sections 25. of it. Yeah. ETA. Did you guys notice that a couple of our um, recent dive highlights have been posted as a social media. I did. I did that, yeah. <laughs> Our pesky old was showing that one today. She was like, your voice is so good on SPL. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And also everything I'm saying about this pesky is dumb. <laughs> no, I, it, I was it, it, it moves its mouth out of, out of its mouth hole. At one point, but when I was talking about the protrusible mouth, I was like, yeah, the mouth comes out of its mouth hole. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good job, Leela. <laughs> Nothing like it's recording really something at 3 in the morning yeah. and have to listen to it right. over again. <laughs> no, you always sound great on there, Leela. Oh, you you have so you. many facts in your head. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Best was when he just like called up. He was like, I need to tell you about this thing. <laughs> So we had the Cuskill, and then we all, what was the other one? The acorn worm, and oh I. Yeah, the acorn worm. I apparently said that it made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember you doing Because that. it had been, well, again, 3 a.m. Uh, it had, like, flipped over because of the thrusters, I think, and so oh. it, like, reminded me of, it like, a, me like a turtle on its back or, like, a, a beetle on its back trying to get upright and not being able to. And I didn't explain that, that thought reasoning. You just said it just makes me sad. Just said it <laughs> makes me sad. <laughs> And a lot of people in the comments were okay. curious about that. <laughs> I had a whole comment thread of being like, uh, I don't know why she said that, but I'm, I'm sure. writing in so I can get updated if anybody answers. <laughs> like that kind of thing. I did answer, though. Ah, uh, that's okay. Um, so our friend from Australia is in southeast of Victoria. Ah, Victoria. Cool. And someone guessed if that was tuna poop, what we just saw. Uh -huh. Possible. Could, could be anything. Could be anything. I like the idea of tuna poo, though. Sure, that's <laughs> nice. Have you ever seen a tuna poo? Does it happen? Sure. It certainly happens. Are you sure? No, but we did <laughs> see lots of birds it? today. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were, were dodging the birds on the They were not constipated. <laughs> <laughs> we had a I had a job once. We actually had the boat have DP run off because there was so much bird crap oh, on yeah. the GPS heads. So Really? Yeah. Somebody was talking about a cruise about how the, oh. the boobies just... That was flocked last to the year. Flocked all over the deck? Last year. Yeah. I didn't hear the full story. I just heard it indirectly. Lynette, were you on that one? They all flew last away by Kingman. themselves, unprompted. I was not on that cruise. I came on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, we were both on the next one. So we, we had, like, uh, in port with, we were in port with the folks who were on that cruise. They were all extremely scarred. Oh, so it was all in port. It wasn't on the, like, No, no. On no the they were, ocean. it was out on, in the oh. ocean. It was when they got close to. Oh, you just crossed paths with Palmyra. them in port. I got it. They, I can't remember. They they did the they made the boat go dark and everything because that's one thing you can do to keep birds from being attracted to the boat. But uh, I guess that didn't didn't help. They still came on. It is interesting that like we haven't had a ton of birds this whole trip. Like the decks have been clear, and then today there was a bunch yeah. of them. Yeah, it made I me wonder, wonder if they 
went somewhere during the storms or something. I mean, I know they've been gone for a while, but we really haven't seen any birds until... Yeah, today was a lot. And they made their presence known all over the deck. <laughs> oh. Two hours in. Two we almost hours later. Two, 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 two. How many <laughs> more minutes do we have? Fifteen. All right, we're killing it. 2,200 meters. And bottom depth is what, 27? 27. Correct. Cool. Starting to see more things in the water column again. Uh, oh, some other questions. Um, let me see if, if I you could have one. an exotic pet, what would it be? Ooh. Oh. If you could have an exotic pet, and there were like no moral implications to this. Just, just the um, idea of a cool pet. Does it have to live in the house that I live in now? Is it cool? Like. <laughs> You decide what it is. You decide if the it's I mean cool the or not. It's cool, like, it's, <laughs> oh, that's a cool pet. I mean, is it cool with people? Yeah, right. Like, I eat me. It's an imaginary yeah. land where it's we all like live happily together. Okay, it'd be like a bear or a raccoon. I was going to say a bear. Was it's kind of bear. They're cuddly. Or a panda bear. Oh, is that what you, what you meant by is it cool? Like, will it be, will yeah, it will it be chill? chill? Yeah, would okay. it just like, like if I picked a lion, would it just like, just want to destroy me all the time? So you're, you, you want it. like a bear friend, like in Jungle Book or whatever that movie yeah. was, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> Goes and gets funny cool. together. Bears Raccoons are, are cool. funny. You ever seen a bear climb a tree? It is frightening. Yeah. Do yeah. not, if you're getting chased by a bear, climbing a tree will not help you. Nope. Has that happened to you in Canada? No, no, I saw it at a zoo. They had a where a climber. Were you was eating like, Megan ice cream? Of land of there was a rock climber, like and then like a bear came out of nowhere. Bears are like grizzlies are different, but black bears and brown bears are really kind of docile. I used to deal with them all the time at the golf course. They don't care about you at all. They just I think they black look bears at you, like, and then they ignore you. Eh. All right, so we've got a bear. What, what would you have, James? Or a raccoon. Um, um, oh, I, it's got to be something like a cheetah or um, mm. a giraffe. No, I got to be able to ride yeah, it. Yeah, something cool to, how to, to ride. ride yeah, you could oh. ride a cheetah. I was just going to say something cool to ride. You can't like, ride a cheetah? No, shit. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Someone Cheetos told us earlier they felt bad cheetah. riding a horse. A rhino? No, there's no way that you could put your whole body on a cheetah. Sure. That's you could put your whole body on a cheetah. No. It's just like the cheetah won't be able to run or nothing. I, I don't, I'm not expecting... I'm not expecting, you know, a 60 mile an hour sprint would be on there, but. <laughs> the cheetah would be smashed. On. I, I think a cheetah is, a, uh, uh, is. My team of cheetahs to pull me on a sled. I mean, uh, I, I think a, ho a horse is taller, but a oh, cheetah. A cart. Maybe like, um, like a rhinoceros or something I could ride around. Yeah. Those are in danger. Oh, hippo. Uh, hippo. Well, we, we, we said no it, mess with the you. morally, the, yeah, the moral <laughs> just, implication of <laughs> <in> bear. <laughs> I no, did I, say I that. Actually, I did um, say that. When you said bear, I was thinking a panda bear would be pretty cute. Oh, no. But then he said trash panda. Trash panda. Trash no, panda. I said I said raccoon. The raccoon, oh. trash panda. I, no one else said I never said that. Lies. Only they can say that. <laughs> Only they can. They can't say anything. Your bear, raccoon. A bear would be cool, though. <laughs> what about you, Ashley? Um, I think Guardians of the Galaxy. They could talk. <laughs> Clearly. Mermaid. A mermaid. That's not a mermaid. mermaid is a kidding. Pet? That would be very strange. <laughs> <laughs> a little too sentient for me. I <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have an answer right now, I'm not sure. I think having a mermaid would be like having kids and that's Yeah. Frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> uh somebody said a dragon. Oh, so yeah. Well, we didn't yeah. know we mythical were, we creatures, I mean, yeah, oh, right. Mythical. No, uh, what, 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 like a Komodo? No, oh, yeah. maybe. Uh, they also vote that we would break a cheetah if we tried Thank to. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Team Jane. Not this cheetah. This cheetah's trained. Yeah, we treat all our strong. pets with love and respect. It doesn't matter if it's trained. If it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a trained <laughs> cheetah. <laughs> And therefore bigger. No, like <laughs> this cheetah goes to the gym. Yeah, like yeah, this. He's like, tra <laughs> just training. So he's, he's like, a like do you even lift, bro? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good point of reference here in the chat is that a cheetah is about the size of a greyhound. Thank you. And weighs probably the same amount, right? Yeah, they're like not they're not big animals. 50 pounds I can weigh a greyhound. Greyhounds are super fast. <laughs> they can <laughs> make it more. <laughs> Maybe in a cart or something. Uh, someone else votes for unicorn. Unicorn, yep. So if we're going to go mythical, 
Pegasus. I was gonna say, yeah, that or Trojan like a horse. griffin, because that can also fly. Yeah. A chimera. And it has talons. Chimera. <laughs> griffin. Oh, we got a nice message. My daughter's 11 and 8. Love to watch the Nautilus Live. Thanks for uh, what you're doing. Go, Hercules, go. Yay. Yay. Thanks Hello. for tuning and in. If they're still listening, you can ask them what their um, special animal would Can't be. Can't be yeah. hamster. No hamsters <laughs> allowed. <laughs> no hamsters. <laughs> we have guinea pigs at my house, so I definitely Oh, my gosh. Them. I've never been more allergic to another living being. <laughs> than a guinea pig? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> Pokemon. So That's bad. Mine. Uh, we're going <laughs> mythical stuff. We're going and mythical <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I want a Charizard or something. Yeah. <laughs> Charizard. That's a good one, actually. Yeah. I don't even Charizard. know what a Charizard is. Uh, what? Charizard. Um, it's yeah. uh, a, it's a Pokemon. It's a fire lizard. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. It's a. Yeah. It's like a, a Komodo dragon. It, yeah. With wings that breathes fire. And it's and it's uh, pretty big. And it's orange. And it's yeah. orange. It's and got, it's got fire it's tail. Very cute. And it has a fire tail. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. This is a lot. I, yeah. This is a lot to process. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Mental picture. Did you keep up with that? <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. Orange. <laughs> fire breathing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Did you answer, Leela? Animal. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I had a, Wait, are we still on the end? I don't uh, What question I are we asking? Not sure where we've <laughs> ended up. We've been all over the place tonight. Right? I think it's any, Let's not let's we will just stay away from mythical creatures. Just any pet any animal that you could have as a pet. Maybe like a maybe like a snail. <laughs> 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 you could go out and oh, do that. Oh that movie right. yeah, movie about the snail. The turbo. Yeah. <laughs> turbo. The animated snail. movie, Turbo? No. With the speedy snail, no? No, Who Marcel. joins NASCAR? Marcel the yeah. Shell? Marcel the Shell. Yes. A fox. A fox. Yeah. I like we it. have foxes Ooh, in fox our backyard. What does the fox say? You can actually say. do that. <laughs> did we, did yeah, we actually too, talk about the way that foxes actually sound? Because they are scary. Yeah. They sound like women screaming. Did we talk about that really? on the watch? Yeah, or yeah they, they, they have a high pitch. Like, oh. um, it does sound like a, like a howl. woman it, howl like, screaming in the distance. It, it's almost like, uh, unless you're used to it, it's like it, to me, it's kind of like off, not off-putting, but uh, not you're, what I would you're expect. You're used to women screaming. <laughs> not what I would expect coming from an animal like that. So like we were with a cat, a hyena, normal cat. Sure, you expect more of a bark in the alley. Oh, between. okay, it's more like a hyena. Oh, the cat yeah, house you hear that high pitch, house, and then it's like and they're making it that noise. Was, really, it right. sounded just like it's a dying. Like that yeah, cat baby. And I was like, yeah. The first time I heard it, I I was very concerned. Yeah, it's very scary. Okay, someone says here you can ride a hippo. So yeah, yeah. Wants to have probably a hippo. Yeah, hippo would probably hippo. eat That's you. That's more appropriate to, no, to the cool. size. Could we have hippo dinosaurs? Eat Those aren't mythical. Mm, but but, but they, they are these are cool. extinct. They are extinct. Do they have to be extant. Uh, oh, nice word. <laughs> <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> I think I would have a, a monkey of some sort. I'm just not no sure. No way. Which one. Absolutely not. Too hard. Close. No. No Hard no. <laughs> have you heard about those stories about They're the gonna apes? They're going to be like nice. He, he said he wants to have a bear. They're cool. That's the whole, th no, the whole no, thing. No, 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 no. I've heard too many horror stories, stories about how they like, like rip you to shreds. No, they're going to be nice. No. Absolutely not. That's that actually my biggest thing in Nepal. The premise of this question. And there were monkeys all over. Is that the animal you choose is automatically cool? Yeah, one, a monkey in uh, South Africa stole my sandwich. Them. They're too <laughs> human. <laughs> they got human impulses. It. They're violent. <laughs> I did watch Wait, one. Wait, oh, we were talking about monkeys. They're like so, apes. So, so we were in South Africa, and a monkey got into the car, <laughs> got into the bag of both our sandwiches, <laughs> took the sandwich out, ran up the tree, and sat there and ate it and looked at us. Like, it's not like we were being irresponsible leaving food around. Like, it literally got into the car and got it That's out. That's amazing. And then it taunted you. Yeah. Just